What's up, peeps? It's Hannah Fitter. We're back. And we are green here at Watkins Glen. It's a wet race track. It's very overcast. It stopped raining a while ago, but the track is still pretty wet. There are puddles everywhere. Probably won't be drying up anytime soon. Robert Weissmuller leading Tito Peters into turn one there. He's going to have the inside line heading into the S's there. People are probably not going to uh, single file out until right about the S's. They're doing them right now. You see the cars look a bit weird. Like they've been lit up or something, but that's just a side effect of the stupidity that is wet racetrack yes yes and as the goat spun around and that's contact with Ryan Herman I have no idea what's gone wrong there but uh, well gloss over it it's probably just the goat up to his usual antics not entirely sure what that was about but we don't have to focus too much on that right now as Rupert Weissmuller has uh, eked out a bit of a commanding lead over Tito Peters and by commanding lead I mean there was a sign there that said Alan Bestwick should retire. See, I don't even remember who Alan Bestwick is, which tells you how much I care about who Alan Bestwick is, so here's that. Tito Peters fell in front of Reggie Filsay. No, not, not anymore. Reggie Filsay are trying to get down to the inside of Tito Peters, heading into turn six. That's right, turn six. This track only has seven turns. Can you believe it, Sasha? I can't believe it. She just said shut up common occurrence, but Reggie Filzane does have the outside line now, and he got a turn 7, and that's that's uh, Rupert Weissman will lead the first lap of this 9 lap race here at the Glen in New York, where the I Love crashing in New York, 355, out of 10, yeah, out of 10, into the barrier, reference is into the barrier, and uh, well, that's Ryan Herman heading into the pits, not sure what's gone wrong there. I think he was when he made contact with the goat earlier, and here comes the goat trying to, you know, trying to get up. Bob and Flo was inside. Bob and Flo actually making up a few positions there. He's gone in front of Kenan Matsuda and uh, Hidaka, so Chevy Monte Carlo superiority, I suppose. I don't know. Could chalk it up to that. The goat trying to make up positions. He did start 39th. Quite surprisingly, it was strange how he managed to get 39th. Just out qualified Bob and Flo about in qualifying. Qualify people. Yes, that's, that sounds correct to me. And uh, back to your uh, leaders. Let's take a look at your order. Rupert Weissmuller leading the race. Tito Peters, Reggie Filsay, and Constantino Bartolomeu, and Ryan Lewis in your top five. Ryan Lewis having managed to get around James Saunders for fifth position. James Saunders back at sixth there. And it was a, I saw a car there go spinning. No, I dreamt it. Okay. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. But there's the goat. There's, there's Ryan Herman um, exiting pit road as Rupert Weissmuller is on to lead another lap here. We didn't even go through the rest of the order because I'm distracted by something that, as it turns out, never occurred. We got Eric Monaco, Daniel Voiles, Yuki Aguiar, and Derek Camel rounding out your top ten. Then we got John Tron, Chai Kasanagi, Takami Fujiwara, Shidiki Takahashi, Adam Lewis, Oza Samira, Zachary Taylor, Patrick Smith, Tori Hamill, and... Santa Kiltina is your top 20. I'm surprised Santa Kiltina hasn't crashed yet. I'm surprised NASCAR hasn't crashed yet. I'm surprised. No. It's a bit old, that one. I'd say. It's right on board the goat. I'm almost certain this is going to be the uh, thumbnails against by Jeff Lewis heading through the S's. Out of the S's. Bit of contact of Alexander Cornish heading to the inner loop. He sends Alexander Cornish for a ride through the grass and over the curb there. Nick B is going, getting over the curb. There he goes, a goat into the outer loop. Oh, he's made contact with Zach Mills. Zach Mills goes spinning around and hard into the wall. Caution's out. That's a very questionable decision from the NASCAR officials, but uh, you don't question things for the way they are. I learned that from watching China Uncensored. So, we're on to caution. Surprisingly, here come the lead pack into the pits. Constantino and Bartleben is actually going to stay out. So by lead pack, we do mean Rupert Weissmuller and just about nobody else out on the track. Save Tory Hamill, NASCAR, Jeff Lewis, Ibuki Ganaha, Alexander Cornish, Ahidaka, and of course the GOAT, because he's a GOAT, Ryan Herman's. 
quite a ways behind the field, but uh, he's going to manage to stay on the lead lap and catch up with the back of the pack. Time we get round here, so... Oh, green already. That's great. So, the lights went out during a lap. That's just road course action for you. Constantine, Constantine on Bartolet is going to lead the field here. As we restart, it's only been five minutes. We're only already in lap six. This does not make any sense whatsoever. I feel like we just time warped or something. We did sort of time warp, of course, but the uh, laps seem to have been counting out pretty fast. We spent two laps in the caution, so that math kind of does add up, but it kind of also does add up. Reggie Phil Zane trying to go down. Tito Peters is inside through the S's there. It's too wide in the back of the field. It's a bit strange. It's a bit odd. Not one to question these guys' decisions as he uh, go goes in to serve a penalty for passing under the yellow, which barely makes sense when everybody's going slow as ass because, you know, they're pacing or something and trying to get into the pits, so it's odd. It's a strange one. I think Reggie Fields Aim was trying to go for a move on Constantine on Bartley, and now he's just going to have to try to defend from Tito Peters and maybe even Ryan Lewis. Tito Peters trying to get by on the outside line. Do the outer loop. He is going to get by on the outside on the outside line, through the outer loop there, file in front of Reggie Philzame, overtakes of the week, and that and Reggie Philzame has just slowed down a bit, look at that pace from Tito Peters, there he goes into turn six, he's going to have the inside line, and uh, have the racing line as well, Constantine on Bartlett and force to the outside, he's going to have the inside heading into turn seven of seven, and actually that's Constantine on Bartlett into the pits, is Tito Peters going to follow him, yes he is. Oh dear, and it's not going to end well. It's not ended well at all. Tito Peters has hit the pit road wall. Reggie feels him gets a piece of it. Everybody's bunched up behind him. It's a clog. This is, looks like a job for the Mario Brothers, and that caution is out once again. And Adam Lewis is going to have the race lead. Look how close we are to the end of this race. He can, oh, no. He's, 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 he's just giving it up. He's, he's gone into the pits. He's, he's gone into the pits. Slap nine. White flag's out. Rupert Weissmuller won the IKEA Series race at Atlanta, and it looks like he's going to win the Cup race as Chidi Katakashi runs out of fuel. And spoiler alert, the GOAT's going to try to reverse into pit road and get a penalty and thus be scored a lap down. But more importantly, Rupert Weissmuller is going to take the win, and he's going to head to the inside line. I have absolutely no idea why this is not F1 where you drive by your cheering team members as they shake their fists through the fence. And, uh, well, everybody's just slow down there. Not sure what's going on there. Patrick Smith has no hood. And there goes the there goes the goats, acting like a complete numpty as all well, these guys have just run out of fuel. And there you go. And that's it. And they're struggling to get back up to speed because they stopped for some unknown, bewildering reason. It's bewildering. That's, that's how I that's how I describe it. Yes, you see, the entire field has run out of fuel, and the pace car is lonely, as it turns out, but worst of all, he's actually driving. He doesn't realize that there's nobody following him because artificial stupidity. Derek Campbell exiting pit road. He's probably going to have fuel unless he doesn't, because that makes sense, too. Look at this whole field. It's just stopped, and it's, it's, it's real comical. Go fastest in practice. Rupert Weissmuller fastest in qualifying. Reggie Phil's aim hap fastest in happy hour. Rupert Vice Miller wins today. Zachary Taylor and Tori Hamill on the podium. The podium. The podium. NASCAR, Jeff Lewis, Alexander Cornish, Constantine Von Borleben, I, Hidaka, Ryan Herman, and John Tron. Your top ten. Yuki Hagiwara, Aza Samir, Adam Lewis, James Saunders, Eric Monica, Chai Sadagi, Shiri Katakashi, Ryan Lewis, Isaiah Monica, Patrick Smith, Soba Sabaki, Kana Matsuda, Santa Giltina, Bob Smith, Yuki Nagato, Bob and Flo, and Nick Bees. Mike Pedersen, Chip McGee, Alan Walker, and Daniel Voles finishing on the lead lap today. I've just made a weird sound with my foot on the wall. The GOAT, Derek Camel, Ryan Monica, and Taylor Brian Price finished the lap down. Reggie Phil's aim and Tito Peters crashed in pit road, so I guess Takumi Fujiwara and Hibiki Gana had joined them. And Zach Mills was sent into the outside wall in the outer loop. I swear Zach Mills has finished in last place at least twice before. Well, these guys are still stuck in pit road. Look at these guys. Look how long they've spent getting around this track. It's really just masochism, if anything. Derek Camel's got fuel. So, you know, he's just going to laugh at everybody. Gloss over that. Rupert Weiss is going to show some muscle at Watkins Glen. What? Yeah. 
What? Next race, Pure Michigan 400. It doesn't matter if it's called Pure Michigan. It's going to be tainted by crashes and stupidity and the very fact that the GOAT is participating. Zachary Taylor is leading the points. Jeff Lewis, Derek Hamill, Hibiki Ganha, Asa Samir are your top five. Yuki Nagato, Adam Lewis, Ahidaka, Patrick Smith, and Nick Bees. 6th through 10th. Where's the GOAT? All the Monikos are in the top 20. That's decent. The GOAT's still in 21st. Don't lose over that. Let's see. Let's pick out our favorite drivers. Bob and Flobo, 34th. Alexander Cornish, 30th. Santa Keltina, 26th. Zach Mills, 22nd. Uh, yeah. Nick B's got four wins. Hibiki Gana had three. Uh, Hidaki Ryan Herman and the GOAT two apiece. Then each with one win. Zach Taylor leading the points. Isaiah Monica, Rupert Weiss Miller just won today. Ryan Monica, Zach Mills, Chai Sanagi, Yukio Hakiwara, Takemi Fujiwara, and Bob Smith. So, the only person who's yet to win a race is Eric Monaco. She'll do it someday. Hibiki Gana has the most top fives, Yuki Nagato the most top tens, and Tito Peters actually the most DNFs. Wow. He's got one more than Sanic Altina who's tied with Daniel Voiles and the GOAT. Look, it's the number of the beast. That's creepy. Most laps completed, Patrick Smith 594 of 603. Most laps led the GOAT, and then, well, actually Hibiki Gana and Aza Samir haven't led any laps at all, have they? It's still 62 for each of them. It's been Hannah Food, it's been time.